Today on our 2014 Ram 2500, we're going to take a look at the best vehicle suspension upgrades for the rear axle. Now the three best options we have in no real particular order are going to be our timber, and this is part number TDR2500D. Here we've got a Firestone airbag, part number F2580, and an airlift airbag, part number on that is AL88289. Now the need for rear suspension upgrades comes when you're going to be hauling, whether it's a trailer or an in-bed camper, you're doing landscaping, whatever the situation is. The one thing you really need to keep in mind, regardless of the rear suspension enhancement that you do, you're not upgrading the capacity of your current vehicle. Whatever the truck's rated for is what it's rated for. These are designed to help us more safely carry those. Now the main difference we have in the two different styles, whether it's an airbag or a jumps bumper replacement like what we have here, is that with your Timberin style, there isn't really any adjustment that you can make. This is going to be a hollow Aeon rubber spring, and regardless of the load that you have on it, it's going to perform about the same. The heavier the load gets, the more compression you're going to have, the more compression, the more support. This is rated for up to about 8,600 pounds, where our airbags, they're rated for up to about 5,000 pounds. Now with the airbags, these are gonna be fully adjustable. The PSI range on either one is from five up to 100 PSI, and for your varying loads, you can kind of adjust that to get the ride quality that you're looking for, and also level out your vehicle. Now with the Timberin style spring, just like all the other upgrades, this is gonna replace the existing factory jounce bumper, it's gonna come down to the jounce stop, and depending on the load, that's how much pressure that you're gonna be supporting. Now, this doesn't allow for vehicle leveling. Now, the big benefit we have with our air springs is that we do have the ability to level our truck back out. When we return our truck to level, we're getting all of our factory settings back the way they were, the headlight angle, where they're pointing, the suspension geometry, all those things are gonna be back to normal. Now we've went over the main differences that we have between the Timberin style and our airbag style. Now let's talk about the difference in the two airbags that we have here. Now both airbags, you can see they're double convoluted, so they're gonna have basically two areas for the air to go into. They're connected all the way through, but you see as these compress, they don't go into a big pancake style taking up a lot of room. They're designed to kind of compress inside of itself. The airlift has an internal jounce bumper in it, so we get down to that, about that point, and there's a rather soft jounce bumper in there. You can see you can actually smush it down by hand, so it's not going to give you a lot of support there. The Firestone doesn't have the internal jounce bumper, but by design, I think they're both going to work about the same. I don't think that's going to give you a whole lot of extra support or extra ride quality. As a matter of fact, when you do install airbags in your truck, you are gonna improve the ride quality if you look through the customer reviews. A lot of people mention that. When you increase the ride quality in your truck, you're also increasing the ride quality in whatever you're hauling, whether it's an enclosed trailer, a camper trailer. Having airbags in in place of a jounce stop or a jounce bumper replacement, which can kind of make the ride a little bit harsher, can really save some of the equipment and things like that you might have in your trailer or the back of your truck. Now another difference you're gonna see in something I feel is really, really important is in the actual build quality of the airbags. You see the airlift bag is gonna have the rubber portion of the airbag come all the way up and then they clamp around this hard plastic cap. With the Firestone, they use what's called a roll crimp. You can see in there where this steel is actually crimped down around the airbag and it grabs a hold on the bottom side. Now the difference in that design is gonna mean that with the Firestone airbag for short-term general maintenance stuff like oil changes or fluid changes, you can let your axle hang down from this airbag. If you try to do that with the airlift airbag, it's likely you'll create a leak. Now since we're talking about differences, we'll also talk about differences in the hardware. I feel like the finish that you get on the Firestone hardware is a little bit more durable but also you see the thickness in the mounting brackets. The Firestone is definitely gonna use a heavier duty material, which should mean it gives us better support. Now another difference we have between airbags and Timberins is that for off-center loads, we're gonna have two inputs, so we can adjust each airbag, whether it's on the driver or passenger side, independently. With the Timberins, again, we're gonna have the constant pressure. Now the Timberin does have a few things going for it. For one, you don't have to maintain this at all. 
Unlike the airbags, you want to make sure that you've got at least five PSI in your airbags at all times. Also, the Timbrin's easier to install. This uses just an upper bracket and it replaces the jounce bumper. Whereas with the airbag, while it is going to also replace our jounce bumper, this is going to require an upper and a lower bracket and we need to run our airline. Now the airline that comes with both airbag kits is going to run to a Schrader valve that can be mounted on the back of the vehicle. You just want to push that in, you'll come to a stop, push it in further, and that's it. Just a push to connect fitting. Then that will be ran from the back of the truck to the inflation port that we'll have on top of our airbag on each side. Now let's sum up the differences that we've talked about. When it comes to ride quality, the Airlift or Firestone airbag is definitely going to be the winner there. When it comes to capacity, the Timbrin is going to have the highest rating. In regards to ease of installation, again, the Timbrin is going to be slightly easier to install than our airbags would. When it comes to construction and quality, the Firestone airbag is definitely going to be the winner there. Now, when it comes to which one's going to be the right one for your truck, it's going to depend on your use. If you're always right up at the top level of your towing capacity, I think the Timbrins are going to be the way to go. For your light duty, for your medium duty, and for your occasional heavy duty needs, I think the Firestones will benefit you more. And that's going to complete our look at the best rear axle suspension upgrades available for the Ram 2500. Thanks for watching. Click the link in our description below to shop, learn more, or visit us at eTrailer.com. And leave us a comment if you have any questions.